welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a basic beginner dishcloth just like the one you see right here. I have included links in the description box below to the pattern that I designed and used. You can find it for free in my Ravelry shop or on my blog, so that will be linked down below. And then I will also have links to the materials that I used in this tutorial as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this beginner-friendly crochet tutorial. Alrighty, so we are going to begin our dishcloth by making a slip knot. Now, to make a slip knot, simply loop the yarn like so, with the working yarn attached to the ball going over the tail. Now, reach through this loop and grab the working yarn and then pull tight. I'll show you that one more time. So loop the yarn with the working yarn going over the tail. Reach through the loop, grab the working yarn, and pull tight. And there you go. There is the slip knot. Now place that slip knot on your hook, like so. Again, I am using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And we are now ready to begin our foundation chain. Now for this pattern, we are going to chain 25, unless you would like your dishcloth to be wider. If you want it to be wider, simply chain more. If you want it to be smaller, then chain less. But for this tutorial and for the written pattern, I am going to chain 25 stitches. Now to work a chain, simply yarn over from back to front and pull through. Again, yarn over from back to front and pull through that loop on your hook. Now, for this foundation chain, be sure to keep it a little bit loose. If you chain too tight, it will be too tight, <laughs> which makes sense, but it will allow your, your dishcloth to look a little bit wonky. It won't be the same width all the way up, so be sure to keep this chain nice and loose so that it can go smoothly into the rest of the dishcloth. So I'm going to continue chaining until I have 25 chains. Okay, so I have finished my 25 chains and you can see that each one of these little V's count as a chain. So if I were to go all the way back down to my slip knot, I would just count by counting the V's. So I would do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on until I reach 25 chains. Now we are ready to start round 1, or row 1, excuse me. So we are going to skip this first chain. It does not count as a stitch. And we are going to work into the second one. We are going to yarn over the same way we did before and pull through one loop. Then we're going to yarn over again and pull through two loops. And that is our single crochet. We are going to work one single crochet in each of these remaining chains. So again, we are going to insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just going to repeat that all the way down for row one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. That's all there is to it. I'm going to work all the way down this chain and then I will meet you back here. Okay, so I have one stitch remaining and I just want to remind you to not skip this last stitch. This little knot right here is our slip knot and we're not going to work into it, but we are going to work into our last chain. So we're just going to insert our hook and do a normal single crochet. 
and there we go. Now, if you did everything correctly, you should have 24 stitches. To count these stitches, you can simply count the Vs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on, all the way till you get to 24. Now we are going to begin row two, with, uh, row two, which is the same exact thing as row one. We are just going to be working into stitches this time instead of chains. So to start off, we're going to chain one. Now this chain is our turning chain. And what it does it get, is it gets us to the right height to work our single crochet. The height of a single crochet is the same height as a chain one. And so to, when we work this chain one, we're going to help our edges remain nice and straight, which is super beneficial for um, anything that's worked flat like this. So I have chain one and I have turned my work because we are working in rows instead of rounds for this project. I'm going to insert my hook into this first stitch and I'm just going to work a single crochet. And I'm going to work a single crochet in each stitch all the way down. Note that I am going through the entire V, so in both loops, I'm yarning over, pulling through one, and yarning over, pulling through two. Now technically, we have two strands of yarn for each stitch, but this is only counting as one, just like any other single crochet, because it's only one stitch. We're not going to treat those two Vs separately. So I'm just going to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Alrighty, so I have worked one single crochet in each stitch across and I should have 24 stitches, which I do. If you are ever confused, simply count those stitches to make sure you have 24. Now I'm just going to repeat row two all the way until I have 26 total, or excuse me, 25 total rounds. So again, that is just chaining one, turning your work, and working one single crochet in each stitch across. So I'm going to repeat this row until I have 25 total rows and then I will meet you back here. Alrighty, so I have now finished working my 25 rows of single crochet and my dishcloth is a square. Now I am going to cut my working yarn. So I'm just going to grab my scissors here and cut this yarn leaving just a small tail so that I can weave it in well. And now I'm going to weave in these ends. Now you can just leave this dishcloth how it is right now, or you can add a simple border, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. So I'm gonna, oop, I just split that yarn. <laughs> Let me try this again. There we go. I'm just going to weave this yarn tail in like so. And then I'm going to weave in the second one. Okay, so I have just woven in all of my ends and now I am ready to start my border. So I'm going to grab my contrast color, which in my case is just going to be this white. You're not going to need much of this yarn at all. And now I'm going to start my border. So to do that, I am just going to um, start crocheting on the last row that I worked. So I have the dishcloth turned to the right side, which you can tell by these stitches here. I'm just going to insert my yarn into any stitch along the last row that we worked. I'm going to go right about here. And then I'm going to grab my contrast color and yarn over with that yarn. So I'm just going to place it over my hook like so, leaving a little bit of a tail for me to weave in later. And I'm going to pull through that stitch. Then I'm going to chain one. And this is just going to lock that yarn in place. 
just like so. And then I'm going to work a single crochet in that same stitch. Now I am going to work a single crochet in each of these stitches. So one easy way to weave in your tail as you go is just to insert your hook into the next stitch and then go under that tail as well and work a single crochet as normal. And if you do that just a few times, you can simply cut that tail when you're done and you won't have to weave it in anymore. So I'm just working a single crochet in each of these stitches until I get to the corner. I'm just going to leave that tail there because I have woven it in enough. Alrighty, so I'm at the last stitch here. I'm going to work one single crochet into it. And then because this is the corner, I am going to work three total single crochets into it. So I'm going to work two more. Just like so. And now I'm going to work into the side stitches. Now the best way to do this is to work one single crochet per row. So as you can see, I have worked into my corner and now I'm going to work into this side of the last row. So here is my last row. I'm just going to insert my hook into that stitch and work a single crochet into it. And now here is my next row of single crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook into that. And it's basically just around the last single crochet of the row. And now here is my next row. So I'm going to work a single crochet into that. And I'm just going to repeat that until I get all the way to the end or to the corner. Okay, so I am to the corner. You can see my very first chain right here. I'm now going to insert my hook into that stitch and work three single crochets into it because it is the corner. Working three single crochets into the corners just kind of helps round it out a little bit more and really helps showcase the square as a whole. Now I am going to work one single crochet in each chain, treating each chain as a stitch. So I'm just going to insert my hook into the bottom of each of these foundation stitches right here and working a single crochet into each one of those. So I'm just going to work all the way across until I get to the end. Okay, so I am now to the end. I'm just going to work three single crochets into that last stitch. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing I did on this side of my dishcloth along this side. And that is just to place one single crochet per row. Here is my first row. I'm going to work a single crochet into that. And my second row. So on and so forth until you have worked all the way to our final corner. Alrighty, I'm at my final corner. I'm just going to work three single crochets into this top stitch here. There's one, two, and three. And now I will just single crochet in each stitch across until I get to my very first single crochet. We are just about done with this dishcloth. I love making these dishcloths and they are so quick and easy. And just a warning, you're not going to make more than just one. Everybody is going to want one as soon as you start sharing these with your family and friends. Okay, so I am approaching the end here, that last stitch, and now I am just going to slip stitch into this very first stitch. So to do that, I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch, yarn over and pull through, 
and then I'm going to go ahead and pull through that second loop as well. And there we go. Now we can cut our contrast color. You can also do this in the in a main color in the color that you use for the majority of your dishcloth if you would like. And I'm going to yarn over and pull through just to finish that off. Now we already wove in this end as we were crocheting, so I will just trim that like so, and then I will quickly weave in this end. I'm just going to go along the contrast row in the opposite direction as that other end. So I wove this one in going this direction. So now I will just weave this one in in the opposite direction by just going through these single crochet stitches along this row. And then I will pull that through and cut my yarn. And there we have it, our finished dishcloth. I hope you found that tutorial super helpful and enjoyable and that you loved creating your crocheted dishcloth. I can't wait to see your creations. Please let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this tutorial and if you would like to see more or if you have any requests for future tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you know each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you all next time. Bye!